What are we going for this riding stuff, neighbor? Well, I know someone who rides. So, like this, this stuff right here. Give me 25 bucks for all of it. Okay. <laughs> What's this guy? Is it like a builder bear or something? Yeah, it's a builder bear. Vermont teddy bear. Okay. How much you over him? Five bucks. Thirty bucks. Off Thirty there. bucks. What you got over here? Just motorcycle jackets. Oh, okay. This is, this is a four hundred dollar jacket here. Oh really? Wow. But I don't. Yeah, okay. Police jacket. We on for both of them. Fifty. Fifty? Yeah. So eighty bucks. Yeah. Because these, these jackets are very expensive. And they're new. Okay. I'll take that. See what else you got. Damn dog of mine. You're gonna drive me crazy. Here, Stuff, but I don't even have a clue what it is. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I got a nice recliner back there, electric recliner, just paid seventeen hundred dollars for it. So me to get rid of it. What about this guy here? Five bucks. I'll take that. It's eighty-five for all. Okay. Man, I'm, I'm feeling this morning, man. You don't have any jewelry, do you? No. It's just a jewelry box. Yeah, I saw, I saw a jewelry box. Like, I wonder if you got any jewelry. So. My dad owns jewelry stores, too. Oh, did he? My brother still runs Sammy with jewelry for the whole of America. Oh, okay. Including. Oh. oh, did they? They closed all their stores a couple months ago. You take all. You say you're gonna take a bunch of CDs down to the half price. Half price. You take them down already? No. Man, it's hard to get rid of CDs, man. I don't know why. Nobody has. A, nobody plays it. Nobody. nobody yeah, music. yeah, everybody's doing the internet. Internet. How about how much for this? I think she put uh, ten dollars on that. Oh, this thing is, is bended license plates. Uh huh. That's real license plates. Well, I made eighty-five. Would you do five dollars for it? Sure. Make it ninety. Sure. Okay. Make sure. Crates. Those are pretty good crates. Well, you never know what you're going to find when you're out here driving around. Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, we're going to be doing some garage selling this morning. As you saw just a little while ago, we hit the first one in my neighborhood. Uh, the guy had some really, really good stuff. Awesome Harley. If you see Harley out there, buy it. Especially if it's as cheap as I got it for a dollar a t-shirt. You got to get all over that one, guys. So, I almost passed up for sale. Let me back up real quick. This was kind of out in the country roads and I didn't see their sign. So we're going in reverse for just a second. And let's park this thing right here. See, they don't have a sign in the front yard, so it's hard to see anything. So, yeah, stay tuned for some more garage selling because uh, I have a feeling today's going to be a good day. Yeah. Mind if I dig in here with you? Oh, 
Oh, yeah. not no more. Alright guys, so we're going to do the recap of the stuff we found at the garage sale. It was a pretty quick day. Didn't uh, hit too many sales. It was about three or four that I hit, but they were good sales. And actually the best one that I hit was the one in my neighborhood. And I'll show you that one last. Alright, so I'm going to show you some stuff from the second sale that I had gotten. Um, it was a bunch of toys, Playmation, a bunch of uh, Skylanders I think is what they are. They were a dollar each, so we're gonna go through these so you can see what they were. That one's kind of just pried open just a little bit, probably from the heat. That one, yeah, this guy here. It's another one. That's like the other one that I have. And a lot of these are duplicate. Which is okay because they're just gonna get sold online anyways. And we had this guy here from the Avengers Super Adaptoid. I'm not even sure who that is, but it's part of the Avengers family, I guess. Plus, I picked up this Lego People's um, clock. 
the battery's kind of low so you can hardly see it but yeah you can see a little bit but I'm sure it's an alarm clock pretty neat uh, this should sell pretty easily the Superman one is gonna be real popular too okay and from that other cell that was in my neighborhood that's the one that I hit first and it really was the best one um, let me show you what I got found that table it's made out of like a tin to uh, make, make it look like um, a bunch of license plates it's like a plant stand with like a belt with a buckle it's a lot going on with this thing it's pretty cool and also found this really nice lamp it's got like a chandelier shade kind of a 50s throwback or 20s throwback yeah more, probably more like a 20s with the uh, flapper dresses that the girls wore back then really nice I'm not sure if it's brass or not, but sucker is, man, it's not too heavy. It works, it looks really, really good. All right, and now that is the box full of stuff that I got. Everything in here it has to do with Harley Davidson, bike riding, etc. So we'll start off with the very thing on top and just kind of go through there. They had this really nice uh, Vermont teddy bear. It's like a Harley Davidson edition, I think. It says, I love you, Steve, so it's kind of personalized. But still really cool. I'm sure we could find someone named Steve out there who would uh, appreciate this. Got this little cute pair, and yeah, I did say cute, of Harley Davidson sandals. They look brand new. The guy said that he wasn't even sure if they've ever been worn. But they got the Harley, Harley emblem there with the blue flames. These are sold pretty easily. Then we've got the Harley Davidson riding boots. Now, I'm gonna have to clean these up. They feel a little bit sticky here on the outside. I didn't notice that before, but I'm hoping that should clean off pretty well. Got that one there, along with this one. So I don't know why they're sticky. I, just, I didn't notice that when I was looking at them at the uh, garage sale, but they are. My phone just does not stop ringing. He kind of threw that one in. It's a Harley Davidson hat. Still has the tags. They never even used it. Okay. Let me shut this off real quick. So, let's see how we're going to do this. We got this really nice. It's like a vest with the leather tassels on it. Really nice looking. Genuine leather. Extra small. I don't see a price on it. I'll have to look it up to see if I can find a price. But as you can see, they never even wore this thing. Brand new really really good condition next we got this Harley Davidson vest again extra small I didn't even check the pockets but I'll be honest with you if I found something in these pockets I'll just take it back because this is my neighbors nothing quality made biker products I'm sure this is genuine leather also I don't see a marking that says that but I would think it is a lot of this biker stuff is I'll look it up at that vest you got this little I think it's a girdle I don't know shit but this one here is the body is genuine leather the lining is polyester and spandex by Harley Davidson look at this guys never even worn a bustier that's what that is from stub cycle and it was originally $140 I guess they got it on sale for $25 I don't know we'll see what we can get for it 
my dogs. Judy. Sasha. Where's the other one at? Sasha. There she is. Say hi. She's camera shy. Not Judy. Hey, Judy. Okay, back to the stuff. I think these might be chaps. Yeah, I think these are chaps. Yeah, those are going to be chaps. Genuine leather, extra small. I don't see a brand on these. But I can guarantee they're going to be good quality. They're going to be probably quite a bit of money. Alright, got this guy here. This is a motorcycle jacket, a riding jacket. It's by FXRG. And Harley Davidson logo in there. This one's extra, extra large. So this is probably for, I'm thinking maybe for a man. Really nice looking jacket. You see there. Let's see if I could spread it out some more. It's got the pads in here. Really heavy duty. This is a really good jacket. Very heavy too. <laughs> All right, here's a riding leather jacket. This one was really nice. Outdoor Outfitters. It's size 50. Again, that's probably about an, a double X in a men's. Really nice jacket. Again. Outdoor Outfitters, I'll have to look that up. Really good jacket though. And a bunch of uh, ladies clothing. I'll go through these. So you had this Harley Davidson scarf. See that? Let's go through them real quick. So you got that t-shirt. This t-shirt, this long sleeve sweater, you got that sweater there, these are all extra small, got this denim little, little shirt there, again Harley Davidson, that's what you hear, got that Harley Davidson shirt here. that one I got this one it's not a Harley but it's a uh, Corona really cool it's uh, orange dyed uh, denim cutoffs cool looking I like the color on it and I really like the back with the parrots and the and the two Corona bottles got this sweater this one's a little bit bigger let me see Small, not extra small. Is this Harley too? Or did this one get in here by accident? No, oh, it's Harley. Okay, it's Harley Davidson in the back. Harley Davidson in Nevada. This is probably just a little souvenir shirt from Nevada. And this is the last one. A little sweater. And the cool thing that happened was they had this really nice uh, recliner. They got it at a store here called Gallery Furniture, which sells a uh, pretty high-end uh, furniture. It's it was one of those electric recliners that does all sorts of stuff and lifts you up. And the guy said he spent $1,700 on it just six months ago. Well, they're moving and where they're moving to is not gonna fit that big old recliner. Uh, they sold it for me for $200. Um, we're gonna end up uh, getting that to my father-in-law because he's been wanting a recliner for a long time it's going to look really nice in his little little apartment that they got so we were really fortunate to get it for that price it was really really cheap and when i went to pick it up um he asked me if I, those couple things that i wanted because um they're about to take everything to goodwill and i was like sure what do you have and they give me a few more things for free which is really cool they'd give me this 
PSP game, MVP. It's not really expensive, but it was free. Um, they gave me this guy here. It's by Bombay Company. It's a little gift pack. It's a, like a notebook and a pen. Not bad. I got a Nook. He says it's pr practically brand new. It's Wi-Fi ready. He just doesn't have the charger, so I'm sure we can find a charger that'll fit it pretty easily. There's so many laying around. And then we got one other Harley Davidson shirt that he found. See, it's just that, and the back looks nicer. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today. I'm really hoping that you are enjoying these videos. Hit subscribe, hit like, and share, do all that fun stuff. And don't forget to let your friends know about the channel. Uh, sharing is caring. That's probably the best thing you can do. So thanks again so much for watching. It's your boy, Daddy Kane. Peace.